Standing with signs along Walnut Avenue and Carmichael, a small but vocal parent and student group trying to send a message to the San Juan Unified School District. It's important for these kids. They need in-class, in-person learning. Just one in a growing number of groups popping up region-wide that organized in a social media forum with a common goal. They're urging administrators to allow students to resume in-person learning. For the kids that want to be back and the teachers that want to be back, we need to have those doors open for them and allow them to come back if they feel like it's safe. Audrey Wittaborg is the parent of a high school junior in the district, but she's also a teacher at a private school that's already back holding class in person. She thinks it can be done at a larger scale in her daughter's district. There's more regulations, but it's worth it because seeing these kids on Zoom that are unhappy and academically they were falling behind, and socially, they just need to be together. The school district acknowledges the frustrations and says it too looks to other scenarios for students' safe return. Looking at examples of where it's being done is something we absolutely have been doing, um, and there's lots of lessons to be learned there. Um, and one of those lessons is that each individual situation is a little bit different. The district says it's abiding by state guidance and agreements with its employees associations with the plan for grades K through 12 to all return to in-person learning once Sacramento County gets back into the red tier. There are lots of different voices um, from those who say we should remain in distance learning for the rest of this year to those who say we should be back tomorrow. Um, and we hear all of those voices and try to work to make sure we're doing the best and safest thing for everybody involved. For these parents and students, that return can't come soon enough. In Carmichael, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News.